Welcome back to another NBA recap where I'm going to be going over the best from Tuesday's action. The reason why the NBA is the best is because the Mavericks beat the Timberwolves at home a couple nights ago. And tonight, without Jaron Jackson for tonight and without John Morant for the season, the Grizzlies are going to win in kind of dominating fashion. DeMontis Sabonis had a 37-point triple-double for the Kings. He's been playing out of his mind recently. And the Kings fell down 20 early to the Pistons, but then already had a lead by half and took care of business. The Timberwolves, they take care of the Orlando Magic. They had a 30-point lead at halftime. Towns and Gobert combined for 49 points, and they were just Im imposing their will with their size tonight. The Los Angeles Lakers, after they've been super cold really since the in-season tournament, but just the start of the season as a whole, they win their second straight game, so maybe that could help them get going. And Darko, the Raptors head coach, was going off on the refs after this game. He was talking about Scotty Barnes not getting calls. The Lakers, for example, had 23 free throws in the fourth quarter alone. Anthony Davis had 14 free throws. The Raptors had 13 all game. So he was saying if they had to win tonight, if that's the case, then we won't even show up. The New York Knicks improved to 5-0 and in the OG Ananobi era, and he is plus 111 through his first five games as a Nick. That means on average, when he's on the court, they're out winning by 20 plus points every single game. According to Shams, the San Antonio Spurs are interested in a reunion with DeJounte Murray. Their priority is to build around Wemby, so getting the point guard could be a focus. Trey Jones has played well with him, but other than that, not much else. And they traded for him for three first-round picks, were able to tank and get Wemby, so if they can get him back at a discounted rate, that would definitely be a good move by the Spurs all around. Miami Heat coach Eric Spolstra signed a contract extension, which is for eight years for $120 plus million. The AAV is going to be second behind Greg Popovich with his 19 mil per year. Joel Embiid is going to miss another game versus the Hawks for an injury. And now this is going to be the ninth game that he's missed this year. They're two and six without him. So he is the MVP favorite at this point. But if he misses nine more games after tomorrow because of the new CBA where you have to play 65 games to be eligible for these awards, he could potentially be disqualified from the NBA race or the MVP race race so that would definitely be crazy because his numbers are saying it but if he misses more than 18 games he can't win it according to some rumors Dave McMenamin ESPN Lakers reporter LeBron James's patience has been tested this year amid the Lakers struggles obviously right now when you're seeing these reports they beat the Clippers then they beat the Raptors even though it was controversial in the eyes of the Raptors head coach and that will be talked about that will be a big fine but as they say winning cures everything so for the time being they have won two straight games We'll see if this can ignite something for the Lakers. Subscribe if you like these videos. That was the best from the NBA tonight.